What's up, Aquarius? All with your November love general reading. This is for the lovely Aquariuses, Aquarians, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is a general love reading and may not resonate with every Aquarius out there. So guys, this is a general, as always in a general, roles can be reversed, energies can be reversed, and cross watchers, this very well may play out from your perspective, so just apply it where it fits. If it's not for you, it's definitely not for you. Spirit, please bring forth the current energies surrounding Aquarius for the month of November. It's the Five of Cups and the Ace of Swords. Somebody's removing some of these heart chakra blockages here. Matters of the heart, the wand energy, seven of wands in reverse, Mars and Leo energy. It's like getting out of the defensive energy. And also, are you going to hear them out? Because they're getting some clarity here. Ace of Swords, Gemini, Libra and Aquarius energy. Aquarius, <laughs> you're here coming here with the five of cups. Your person is feeling a lot of regret for how they handled things for being I don't know, locked, not commitment issues. What's going on here? Five of Cups, Mars and Scorpio energy. It's connecting us to the throat chakra for sure. Also around some change. This changed a lot of things. And it's also kind of like a reversal energy for me today. It doesn't always come through, but it does. And that's apologetic energy. It's wanting to move past it. Are they coming in here realizing that they need to apologize yeah, I think so. But they're also realizing, I don't want to see how stupid they were, <laughs> but it's kind of what came in. Just kind of, some, let's say, dumb moves, you know, that, that they made. Because they, they left things really unclear, left you feeling like, yeah, just questioning things, not a lot of clarity, feeling like they didn't love you. They regret that. So that's good. Um, because that is bringing in some clarity and an apology, I feel. Putting down these defenses. Are you, you know, are you ready to hear them out? <laughs> the Eight of Swords. You could also be here. There's that regret. My gosh. And the Eight of Swords for holding themselves back. Literally, look. You put yourself there in the Eight of Swords. Jupiter and Gemini energy. It's like. This is the separation and they regret it. This is where they put them. So there is fear. There was fear around moving forward. This is the lack of communication. But coming out of that energy, this is their regret. There is definitely an apology. And that regret already came through in our Five of Cups. Super strongly validated here with the Lover's Cart. Gemini energy, Venus energy, the planet of love. Soulmate energy. For some of you, this could be around your twin flame. That's not for everyone, but the energy is here. But I tell you, you know, this is regretting the choice that they made, how they left things, that going into a separation or no contact, not responding. Was there ghosting? Was it a pulling away? Because the humility around that, the regret is strong in that five of cups, but also the apologetic energy and putting down, getting out of their ego is kind of what's coming through in terms of defenses down. This is Jupiter and Gemini energy here as well, and it's in the partnership placement. And obviously that affected you both and Gemini around communication and information. So withholding, I also I feel how they how they feel not moving forward in that Jupiter energy. It's the planet of expansion and prosperity, you know? And this is like stopping that, stopping communication, things not moving, they're definitely regretting it. Okay. So what I was bringing through, and I'm going to show you what's the energy that's coming through is this is a faded connection. You're here when you're meant to be here, when you're ready to receive the messages that you feel are yours. So welcome again. I'm glad you're here. Let's take a look at the energy. This is the Knight of Swords and it's the Fool. <laughs> this is so clear. I have a lot to say. It's a pretty intense mountain to climb it looks like is it covered in snow i don't think that's snow it's kind of like it's almost like a, somewhat of a hopeful magical energy you know if you look at it you can see the horse here bucked ready to go you know this is somebody who has a whole lot to say libra and mercury energy mercury the planet of the mind 
the planet of communication, Libra is connected to infinity. It's truth. Balance, renewal here. It's like I'm coming no matter what. And it's coming here with the full cart. So they are definitely, there's an apology here. It's feeling pretty big. Coming out of their ego. It's almost like, I don't know if they're, there's a time constraint. Like maybe particular, like around when you can communicate. Or maybe when they're getting the courage somehow. Something's coming through there. We'll see. But yeah, this night is on the move and Mercury again, it's the planet of the mind, the planet of communication, often connected to reading and writing, probably archaic that it would be around like a handwritten message could be, but it could also be social media, email, SMS, phone call. How do you normally communicate? It's coming here with your energy, Aquarius, in the full hero's journey, the fool's journey, hope for another chance kind of like yeah coming in here and taking a chance take a chance on me <laughs> it's heard that song on another start on a new start it's like clean slate energy here they are getting out of their ego and there's an accountability that i feel like they're having being held accountable admitting it this lovers in reverse as well of course connected to some of the breakup energy no contact no communication under and separation. For some of you, there could have been some arguing, some discord that's been around that. That night on the move, the sword energy, transactional clarity in your relationship, truth, information. Remember, this is a general tarot reading. Aquarius won't resonate for everyone. Always take what resonates for you and let the rest go. I would really appreciate it if you took the time to like today's video. Thank you, Aquarius. Let's see what else is coming through. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us what Aquarius needs to see today. Ho. Oh. By the way, nine of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, look, it's connected here with the lovers in reverse. They regret. This is like what they this is kind of you could say the no contact or just things not moving anymore breakup energy perhaps for some of you or just communication getting really bad i mean look it's a bird flying here into the house nine of pentacles this build up and then it's like it's in reverse here so were you in a long-term connection were you building it wasn't on the table it obviously stopped they totally regret it and what i wanted to say to you is it doesn't matter if you're here in real time or not whoa you know, you could be, those two, Those are yours. You could be here in real time, but you could also be here, well, you could also be here again many months, many years later. But what I want to mention is that currently, as I channel for you, we just got over our lunar eclipse. <laughs> we're getting ready for our super, our solar eclipse, and we're in Mercury in retrograde right now, and that is this kick up energy. So I'm not surprised at all that they're getting these blood of feelings, timing, divine connection, divine timing, oneness, time to do what's right, being guided, connected here with the coming out of the ego energy for me, the heart blockages, getting out of this energy, what has been holding them back. I want to see what's going on here, but eight of pentacles also coming in. Sun and Virgo energy. This is an action number. It's also around some karma. Infinity, of course, truth, balance, renewal, working on coming back in here with this apology, which feels really big. This is a really big apology. There's a lot of regret. I need more. <laughs> and obviously we have it here and we're going to continue on. And I think a lot of this, you probably already know what it's around. But these are pentacles, okay? And it's connected with the nine of pentacles in reverse. And that's the commitment energy, relationships, contracts, partnerships, to whatever. This is here around you, but it could also be around money and other things. Even somebody who's maybe in another connection, let's see. But the eight of pentacles, like, back on track. And then you also see hitting the nine of pentacles in reverse. Things having stopped. But they're working on coming here, I feel, and apologizing the Six of Swords. Yeah, that is the movement of the communication. 
this is Mercury in your energy, Aquarius. It's time. It's like a transitional energy time to get moving. And look, it's a boat on the divine, the emotional energy. I feel like it may have been frozen. That's the no communication, but it's not here now. And it's heading toward what looks like a really beautiful energy here around the corner. It almost looks like the Aurora lights, doesn't it? You could say solar eclipse, but no. <laughs> there are six feathers here representing the sword. So there's three and three. It's like the breakup energy, you know, the three of swords. Saturn and Libra energy, the two of you coming together on this boat, getting ready to communicate. It's Mercury energy. It's on their mind. They're, they're, uh, they're, there's a lot of regret here. There's even some jealousy. So I'm wondering if it's something they're seeing or if that played a part in what went on in your connection. You know, why things, why things got to where they are. Page of Swords energy, not surprising at all. You know, this look, this is what they're doing. Look, reaching out. So watching, if you are connected on social media, maybe that's how they're getting some information. There might be some triggering jealousy here. I, I don't know, it's coming through. But the regret and what and what they want to see to you, this is holding on to that truth, is strong. They're watching and preparing. Page energy is like a student, you know, trying to figure it out. And you can literally see with the paper, pen, pencil here, box, gifts, flowers. So something coming in. It's Again, it's probably archaic that it's a handwritten message, but it could be for some of you. It's most likely connected to social media and email, but Mercury can be connected strongly to reading and writing. But it's also about how you communicate. And we are in Mercury retrograde just as I channel, whether you're here in real time or not. And this is what they're preparing for. I do feel like they're talking about you. Seven of Cups right below it. So also some commitment issues put you here. Okay. And it could be that there's commitments to other people or things. That's also here. But a pretty stuck energy. It's, it's playing a really big part. So whether that's just commitment issues or there were other things here. They're regretting how they handled this. They just went into like, I don't know, shutdown mode or pulled away fast, slow. I think you know that. But they're definitely getting ready to reach out. It's what they're working on here. <laughs> it's really strong. So how do you normally communicate? Is it through SMS, social media, email? Is it through phone calls? You know, however that is. Seven of Pentacles. Well, you're tired of waiting. Look at that. Seven, eight, and then the nine in reverse. But this is also you here still, but maybe one foot out the door. Maybe two. You know, having put in a lot of time and effort into this connection, into your relationship. You know, it's the shovels, like, here are all the pentacles. This is this is where we are. I'm waiting still. Am, am I going to replant this? Am I going to take this and put it down? And gosh, that sound seems really like <laughs> an intense energy, but taking the shovel and banging it down. You know, it's like I've worked, a, I've, I've been working on this. I've put in a lot of love and I've heard, I don't know, somebody saying, I believed you. What does that mean? So I just heard that coming through. But it's like there's just been a really strong delay. And it's like a message here, too. I'm working on it. This is a, it's like a bear, a really instinct event, that animal probably right next to the wolf. Quite strong. Look, there is a tree, roots. Yeah. Long-term energy. A rooted energy here too. So working on coming here with more. I'm working on coming to you. I want to apologize to you. I know I regret how I acted, how I behaved. I regret how I left things. I want to see what this other is here. What is that? Is that a wolf there kind of coming in? Yeah. So it could be, again, that there was some arguing and some of that intense energy. Really liking this Empress. Present moment. Okay, yeah, present moment is coming here with the King of Pentacles in reverse and the death and yeah. So this is present. So this is the past. It's in reverse here. But look at the Empress is here too. This is Taurus energy. We were also coming through. Venus, the planet of love, divine feminine energy, divine number, divine timing, can create and grow 
just about anything, new beginnings here, access to all the elements, water, air, earth, and fire. But what I like most is this is bringing in a really sincere apology for you, Aquarius. Bringing them in, also being really honest, speaking the truth about how they feel, heart chakra, sakul chakra, I love, I feel, sharing how they feel about you, being honest about how they feel about you. I like that a lot. So this past energy, present moment in reverse again, the king of pentacles in reverse, Virgo ruled by Mercury coming here with the death and rebirth card. This is Scorpio energy. And first of all, this past energy is not surprising connecting with our king of pentacles in reverse because this is like not following through energy. And it's a strong validation of the jealous energy that I'm feeling. So that's also some current energy. And it could be again that it was coming through in the past energy. Could even be around you, something that you're feeling if there is another connection here. In any case, this is the not following through. This is that, you could say, the 10th pentacle coming here with our king. Pentacles, things not developing, things not moving forward. This is really long-term energy, and we have the nine here, so it's kind of like 79, like you've been waiting for this commitment. That could be just going exclusive, Me you know, meeting for some of you, maybe for the first time, seeing each other, introducing families, moving in, something bigger, moving in marriage, but commitment energy, nonetheless, committing to what? Seeing each other, getting closer, moving together, forward together, further, whatever it is, it's like, that's the energy of it stopping, because this is the bountiful energy. It's, you know, it's the Around the relationships, the earth energy, the earth, of course, the foundation and where things are coming from, growing from, you know, where you're building it. There's everything you have to put on top of that, of course. So it's kind of like it stopped it. And it's a, actually not even kind of. It's a strong validation here with the death card, the rebirth card in reverse, because it's the stagnation. It's things having stopped. And it's, yeah, brings in a, a not so hopeful energy, does it? Some ego here for sure. Look at the snake. They need to shed their skin for, they have to do it for survival. That's the renewal. It's the transformational energy. And it's something that has been playing a part in your person. And I do feel they're coming out of that now. But this is what's probably been here for a while. I and mean, you look at the mushrooms going around the stump here. Long-term energy, that tree you can see. So for some of you there, you may have been in a connection for years or building it or it's been on the table to go further, you know, could also just be that feeling. But again, I do feel like there might be something else here too, in the way of contracts, whether that's you or your person. But that's also the shedding of that skin and the transformation is also around the ego. And it is something that they're coming out of here. I mean, it's really palpable. I can feel this and <laughs> everything that's coming through because they're really wanting to apologize to you, Aquarius. It's very sincere. And are they coming in here with more? Because I don't know if you've just been waiting for next level in the connection or to con continue, I guess you could say, or just an apology. Yeah, let's see. I definitely feel the apology. It's, it's, it's a little bit unclear if there's an offer here. I think there might be. Whoa, and there's the ego. Synchronicity, two of cups. Whoa. About two of pentacles and the two of swords in reverse. So it's just drawn to <laughs> go bottoms up. Yeah, it's moon and leaper energy. That's indecision. It's being overwhelmed. But this is an offer to looks like. And why? What is the other contract? Look, the two of pentacles. What came down here with the two of cups? Yeah, the love. Definitely regretting how they love things. And leaving you feeling like they didn't love you because it's clear you still love each other. There's still the energy between you is still very much alive, you could say. Soulmate energy, also twin flame energy. A decision, by the way. And it can be around marriage, romantic proposals, marriage proposal. But again, it, this is definitely contact. And what is that proposal energy? Is it talking, meeting up, next level? Is it really big? But here's the here's the depth of that ego that we've been waiting on. And I and I've already know it's here, but it's the validation. 
tower energy. It's kind of like their tower moment, being honest with themselves, getting to the root of the issues. Was there a tower moment for you, for some of you, between you? Definitely could have been, you know? I mean, it's clear. The indecisive energy of what's going on in your, what was going on in your connection is also really clear, but we also see there is a decision here and it's two of pentacles coming with it. Saturn, Capricorn and Saturn energy. You know, you and Saturn both share, you and Capricorn, excuse me, both share Saturn, ruling planet. And yeah, it's like choosing between possibly some contracts, weighing some things out, having a lot of uh, other things going on. So what is the other contracts? I've been feeling that here. The ego is here. Okay. So choosing between their ego to contact you, I already feel like they're getting over that. That much is true. It could look in the synchronicity of, of how things are happening here, what you're reading, being here today, how you're, how these, this coming together is going to happen and watching for the signs, watching for the signs could be, of course, you around numbers or a lot of things, repeating numbers, phone calls, people that you are, you know, that connection and like knowing who's going to call first. And it's really strong energy right now. I have to tell you whether or not you're here in real time, just the Mercury retrograde, the lunar eclipse, the solar eclipse coming. It's strong energy. This is higher power at source. Outcomes, reaching for these outcomes, literally look, holding an, on here and here, we have an, a feather, the feather is here, an angel is near, standing on what looks to be like a golden egg, which is interesting because it's connected here with the nine of cups energy, biggest wish energy, wish fulfillment energy, so it could be you're not expecting to see your person also, and it just comes together in that way. But the synchronicities are really, 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 really strong right now. And so is the death of that ego. And yeah, what I wanted to say is ego, yeah, unless <laughs> it's here. But is there another contract? You know, it could be romantic. It could be something even bigger, you know. Family of origin, interference, it could be location, cultural, religious differences, even somebody who has some ties to maybe, like you could say a lease or owning something or jobs or something like that. In any case, they are, I do feel that you're, you're, it's clear that you still love each other and that they're making this decision to come with an apology. And I do feel like it's a lot more. It's not over. That much is really, really clear. And they are moving forward here to tell you how they feel and share the regret. And they're trying to figure it out. There is a little bit of that, you know, and you, the page of swords energy, two of swords in reverse. Like, how can I do this in decision? Look at like figuring it out. But communication is super, super strong. And it's a really sincere apology. Then, yeah, it does feel a lot like there's something more coming in here. Oh no, this is a decision you're making together. But by the way, that two of pentacles, the two of cups giving us a 22, that is a transitional energy and it's a second chance energy and it's connecting right here with the six of swords, which is transitional energy. It's like the, the communication that I feel like is about to happen if it hasn't already. I want to bring in some Oracle. We're shuff Aquarius. Whoa. <laughs> Sorry, my camera just died and it's wiggly. Temperance just being revealed. Archangel Michael. The angel for protection, strength. Wanting to work things out, get you both on the path to the truth. It's here. Oneness, synchronicity, you're being brought back together. It's something here. Well, it's obviously that there's a lot of love here and there is an apology here, but there's another reason for it. Are you continuing on? My heart feels butterfly kind of energy. Okay, so <laughs> you didn't, whoa, you didn't miss anything. This just flew out. That's also yours. I was about to say that I'm always shuffled and ready to go. 
but I am going to shuffle some more and then I'm not reading in reverse. And then here we are. <laughs> By the way, this is Sagittarius energy. It's quite a fast energy around the heart. And yeah, it's working things out. It's restoring balance and harmony here. And it's clear they need to, they want to, they're being pulled to apologize here. There's something bringing you together began it's the apology, but I just feel like there's something more. Lantern elimination, by the way, this is bringing in permit energy. The separation that's been going on between you, where you go for clarity, quest for personal truth, spiritual illumination. It's the separation that's been here, but you know where you go after you get out of the hermit energy. You go into the wheel of fortune. And that's where things start to turn and change. And I feel like it's on the verge of that here. Okay, just brought them both in. The wolf, the moon, the instinct here. We saw that in the bear and the wolf was the other energy I was feeling. And here it is. It's connecting to the moon energy, Pisces. Cancer also Gemini, revealing, very revealing energy, the subconscious. Communicating, opening up. It's like the wolf moon energy howling at the moon. This is the communication here. As they get out of their ego, a lot of the the reality of what's happened. And again, if there was, there's something that you posted or said, I don't know. There's a triggering energy, I feel like. They're kind of jealous. Could also be coming from your end. But they're definitely wanting to communicate with you. And it's a really sincere apology. So I like that a lot for you. Crown accomplishment. Feather is here. An angel is near. I mean, we have Archangel Raphael here, Archangel Michael. We also look right here in our synchronicity energy. Faith, having faith. It's also bringing in your energy, Aquarius. It's bringing in the star card. It's connecting here with the regret with our lovers in reverse, with them trying to communicate in our page of swords, watching, waiting for the right time. Two of cups, making the decision, sharing how they feel as well. This could be something really big for you. You are still here waiting, also indecisive, also connecting to this two of swords in reverse, you know, kind of overloaded here. There's obviously a lot of love here and coupled with that with your person, there's regret. Revelation, this is judgment energy coming in, Archangel Gabriel, the angel for messages, the herald of visions, your person from the past. How far back are we going here? <laughs> Lover coming in coming here to be honest and truthful with you because they're having this wake up moment. It's really, really strong. It's like getting out of a lot of the pride and ego, getting out of their ego and owning a lot of how they feel and being able to share that with you. I don't know why they've been holding it back. If there's other connections, perhaps it's just their ego, but they're coming in here in such a sincere way and an open way. And to be honest with you, Archangel Gabriel is literally <laughs> whispering in their ear, get some clarity. It might even be yelling, make a decision, wake up. What do you want? Be honest with yourself so you can be honest with Aquarius. It's like airing everything out. It's resolution, reconciliation, or closure. It feels like I said, like it's the verge of something that could be go either way. Pillar support. I like this because it's both for the two of you, but it's also connecting with the high priestess energy again. And that's the revealing energy, the divine feminine energy, cancer energy, connecting to an intuitive energy, trusting gut instincts. These are guardian angels. Look at this guidance between you, synchronicity, two cups, having faith, the feather. Them holding on to things. I feel like they're talking about you two, not even just looking, you know. In support, the four areas of support and stability, mentally, emotional, physical, spiritual. But this is also about the two of you and the revealing energy. Communication. Building up the, the support around the foundation. The possibility of where this could go. Pathway, passage. Connecting with the two of cups and synchronicity. Look, there's the key. Whoa. Lots of high priestess energy here. And... Also, chariot energy. Look at that key reveal. Revealing how they feel. They're sorry. Well, revealing that they are <laughs> connecting with the regret of how much they were, how sorry they are for hurting you. This past energy here, it's big time. 
getting out of their ego to say these things to you, but also revealing how they feel about you. I feel choosing you, Aquarius. Where are you at with this? It looks like you're still here, but definitely fed up, you know? The revealing is strong. There's the key. There's the keyhole. Again, super strong high priestess energy. Also connecting with the Sphinx, the ancient wisdom, revealing, receiving the information. But it's like clearing obstacles too. So that's connecting also with the chariot, like having come up with the riddle you have to come up with. And you could say in folklore, to come up with to get the Sphinx to move, the obstacle. So it's like the information that they've needed that wasn't available. It was available to them. But they weren't accepting out of ego and pride. And now they are able to move this out of the way so they can get moving here. Get out of this indecisive energy and come and apologize and tell you how they feel. And is that going to change everything? It just might. And again, it's bringing in that chariot energy and the moon and cancer energy. This just came off. I'm about to. I think about you constantly. I'm about to bring in and crown accomplishment, by the way, working things out. That's connecting with temperance. Crown chakra, higher power. And also I know, you know, I know what to do. And interestingly enough, that crown chakra is also connecting with your energy, Aquarius, the star energy. And judgment, which has come through in our revelation here. I know it's the clarity. I feel so understood by you, by the way, just wanted to show <laughs> channel love messages, messages. This just flew on the ground from their higher self. This love is truly magical. It's connecting with synchronicity. Pathway two of cups. Three is the most I take. Whoa. I am studying the truth. It's the page of swords energy. It's here, you know, it's the watching. It's the trying to figure out how to come here. Communicate super, super strong. Gemini, of course. The sword energy, of course, is around transactional energy, clarity and relationships, information, truth. I miss you so much. I miss you so much. I think about you constantly. That's coming through here as they get out of their ego in order to connect and send these messages. I'm, as I say that, look what's here. My guides have a sense of humor. This wolf is howling loud. I'm going through an ego death. It's been very, very strong Aquarius, and it's a super, super strong validation. I'm in my man-woman cave. It's connecting who it's some of the hangman energy, which has also been coming through that Pisces energy and just uncertainty, not moving and decisive, some power struggles. It scares me how deeply you see me, but I love it. A lot of what they want to say, connecting with our page of swords, clubbers in reverse, the two of cups. I look to my heart for guidance. I mind blown over and over it's connecting here too with the information look i'm studying the truth connected directly with the sphinx ancient wisdom with the information also connecting here with archangel michael a mind over mind blown over and over next to revelation here you give me so much strength to bring it in some leo energy more source your connection also yeah, I don't know. There's something else going on in the pentacle, this two of pentacles. You know, this, there's three there. It's two of pentacles, but you can see there's three of those pins, I guess you call it. Kind of like juggling them. What exactly that is? What is the third party? There we go. But is there something else? I think feel kind of feels like there is. But there's a really strong chemistry between you. And when it works, it's like... Yeah, it's like M for M for synergy, powerful. When it doesn't, it's <laughs> still powerful, but that it's powerfully not working. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like intense. Trying to love messages from your person. Messages from their higher self. That's it. So many songs remind me of you. Somebody's listening to some music. Aquarius. 
Can you feel my love? It's the two of cups here. You give me so much strength. You are the love of my life. Two of cups. Also the lovers in reverse because it's their regret for whatever they did here. It's, you know, the apology is pretty big and sincere. So what happened? Don't ever change. I feel like it's connected to something that might might have been said or implied that they want to reiterate now. Like, no, it's not you. Like, don't change. I'm kind of hearing like I needed to hear that or I needed to see that. So it's something that you revealed to them too, which is coming through in that revealed energy. I will never give up on us. And here, of course, is another feather connecting with Archangel Michael. Please never give up on us. I will never give up on us. Please never give up on us. My world changed when I met you. Yeah, there's something here that you really helped them with or see something. Maybe that's going here with the ego. I'm waiting for the right time to reveal connected with the crown accomplishment. I'm always with you. I am so lost without you. Which direction the passage? I really want to see you. You're trying to reveal something under here. Here's something else showing life force energy. There it is, awakening. Okay, so it's a strong validation already of Archangel Gabriel. It's here. That's the judgment energy. Your person from the past coming in. This is the really, this is a very big apology. It's very sincere. It's truth, it's clarity. This feels like reconciliation. Look what's coming behind it. This is so, 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 so strong for me right now with this life force energy. So strong. You know, the lunar eclipse, Mercury retrograde, solar eclipse, it even has that energy here for me. And all the elements, really, air, earth, water, the fiery energy, all the elements. This is strong. If you haven't heard from them, it. I feel like it could be around this time frame, like any time now. It's intense. I want to bring in some last channel love messages, messages from their higher self, love notes, graves. Is that it? And that looks like yours. I want to look at it first because it screamed at me. Please forgive me. <laughs> That's right here. See awakening. This little heart is swelling off. You inspire a love in me I never knew. Connecting right here. There is so much left unsaid and we saw that in the Nine of Swords and it's just really clear here. I was stupid. This came through really early and I didn't love it, but here it is. <laughs> it didn't say it. Past energy of present moment in reverse and King of Pentacles in reverse. No one compares to you, Aquarius. No one compares to you. I am so lost without you. This love is truly magical. You are the love of my life. I made so many mistakes. I was stupid. I made so many mistakes. I miss you. I'm trying to send you a message. It's like of all the things to come through, it is here. It's strong. And I get this through without messing everything up. <laughs> it's right there. Trying to figure it out. Literally, I'm trying to send you a message. It's page energy. Your last channel love message. Message from, I'm so sorry I hurt you. The apology, the humility, the forgiveness energy has been super, super strong. There's a lot more here. As you know, if you've followed the reading throughout, this is definitely really strong. Beautiful Aquarius, it's been my honor to channel for you. There's an energy here, this life force energy. It fe I'm feeling this. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for that. I'm sending you so much love and light, hoping for the best outcome for you on your journey and looking forward to seeing you at another love reading soon. Until then, bye Aquarius. Mm -hmm.